Welcome back, you two Lynn. I'm your host, Murray. Welcome back to Get Wrenching. We're going to continue off from our wheel bearing servicing video to, to install the brake pegs that I ordered from Napa. Finally well, we got off night shift there now and got the brake pegs. So grab yourself a beverage and a sandwich, sit back and relax, and let's get wrenching. Okay, so we've already removed our caliper after we had already serviced our wheel there. So now we're gonna go on to cleaning the slides for our brake pads and not only the caliper sets up. These little points here and here right along this outer edge and the pads right on the inner edge. So what you wanna have, I just use a drill with a flying dangerous snake killing wheel because usually these, if you don't wear safety glasses, end up in your eyeballs. Just use this and run it back and forth a couple times. Yeah, I just want to get all that rust out of there so these brake pads can ride freely. Some of the angles are going to be painful. Yeah, I think I got her good. Yes, that's good and clean. Yeah, just give that a little wipe off, clean off any dust. Yes, that's looking good. So now we're gonna want to apply brake lubrication cream. Get this at any Napa auto parts store, Canadian Tire. This stuff is the proper stuff to use on sliders. Well, especially if they're encased in rubber. A lot of people used to use grease years ago to lube them up. And and they found that hard grease was the reason why a lot of these calipers were seizing up through the pins is because they were swelling up, reacting to the never seize or the grease, especially if it was a petroleum grease. And it would swell them, just swell them right up as worse if they are rusted. So that's why they have this cream. And this stuff works really well. I've used this for years and it's really good. Any type will do as long as it's like a... I think it's a silicone base. Pretty sure. It was on pretty nice and thin. So now also we're gonna give the caliper a little rub. Get some dirt stuff out of it. And always clean these surfaces off as well. Opposite of the piston, because this is where the brake pad actually rides back and forth so this can squeal so now this is where the never seize comes in handy you always see them like you can get this other stuff there's like a a paint anti-brake squeal it's called and you can spray it on like paint like spray paint and it's sticky and it's supposed to keep the brakes from squeaking i've used it before at the garage i worked at and it was all right but it's expensive so never seize is expensive but you always have never seize around and you don't, you know, I don't use a lot of it. it doesn't really have to. So I've never, a little bit of never sees here and here, and on the face of the piston, up against the brake pads, we'll just keep that nice and quiet, and pretty easy. So I'm gonna get to cleaning this caliper and be right with you. So now we get all of the, the sliders here cleaned up. We'll take our copper coat silver never sees give those contact points for the pad roids on the piston and on the back side here there 
All right, don't need very much. Very, very light skin. Gingerly. Now we're ready to slide our pad into place. Our pad. Slides in like so. These were these cheapy brake pads here from Napa. Listen guys, like don't don't go for the high quality steel embedded brake pads. They're hurting your rotors, man. Rotors are more expensive than brake pads. These are only twenty twenty one dollars. Like, come on. In the states that's well, they're just twenty one I should say these are twenty one Canadian dollars. In the states that's probably like Twelve bucks, nothing. So yeah, you can go through a lot of set of brake pads versus a rotor. So now we're ready to install our brake caliper. Sure, pad something in here. See, they got a they got a clip into your caliper like so. So, I got it figured out while well, I was struggling there with the brake caliper. The piston must have worked its way out a little bit overnight. So, I uh, ended up using my brake tool. Get a picture of the part number there. Blue point. You can get this on the Mac tool truck. That's, I think, where I got this. Or, no, the Snap on truck, sorry. When I was in Alberta. It's a pretty good tool. I, I like that tool. It's really nice. Well, so now push the piston back and we're in the place. So now we can reinstall our brake hold down spring. I don't need to never seize that bolt. That's a bolt I do not want backing off. I usually service my brakes quite a bit. I'm a firm believer of keeping my brakes cleaned up, all my sliders and slide pins and brake pads and rust so my brakes are always apart but every three months i do because i don't drive my vehicles a lot so they're parked a lot and around here there's a lot of moisture and stuff and salt on the roads in the winter time i i'll be driving this in the winter time no 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 but my everyday vehicles so i've learned from them keep your brake service your brakes will last a long time so. We won't put no never sees on these bolts. They'll be off plenty enough. <clears throat> yep. If I didn't want to get these apart, I'd put some Loctite onto them, but I'm not doing that. So there. Now all that's left to do is We'll go pump them up and see what happens. See if them calipers are any good. Get the car, give them a pump. See that wheel turns now. Oh, yeah. A little draggy. 
take her for a drive, and I guarantee you she'll come right out of that. The other side's turned pretty freely, so. Yeah, so there you are. There's a brake installed. Now, I know they're not the the Brembo brakes, you know, that Ferrari and, you know, Corvettes and probably some aftermarket muscle car suspension kits and all that stuff yet, but this is what I can afford. So, yeah. Until next time, gang. Like, share, subscribe. It's free to subscribe. If you don't like it, then you don't have to, but even just a share would be great, or a like, that'd be cool too. I'd like to know if this content's helping people out or people enjoy it. So anyway, guys, thanks very much. Have yourself a good evening.